Eyewitness News with developing news on a story we first told you about live at 5. The health department approves cuts at Memorial Hospital in Pawtucket, sending services to other Care New England hospitals, Kent and women and infants. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum is live at the Department of Health with reaction from the state on this decision. The closure was made official in just the last few hours. Memorial Hospital will be shutting down their birthing clinic after August 1st with those services going to other hospitals. We really took our time with this. In our one-on-one -on -one interview with the state's Department of Health director, she cites unstable finances as one reason for the decision to close Memorial Hospital's birthing center. We made the decision to transfer the obstetric services within the Care New England system to um, either Kent Hospital or Women and Infants Hospital. Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott says there are conditions for the closure. That includes in the next six months, the hospital's owner, Care New England, has to submit a plan to replicate Memorial's birthing center at another hospital. So the idea to close was met with protesters dating back to March. A local nursing union estimates around 200 jobs will be lost. In knowing how valuable nurses are, we really wanted to make sure that employment services were made available as we discussed earlier. We also really wanted to make sure that the model that they created for a unique alternative birthing environment and experience is continued. United Nurses and Allied Professionals released a statement. It reads in part, today's decision is nothing more than a win for corporate health care and a further erosion of quality community-based care in Rhode Island. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.